Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Avent Novus. Drawing a map in one hour. Today it's viewer's choice. We've got a lot of comments on YouTube. We've got a lot of comments on Facebook and on Twitter of what people wanted to see. Our biggest comment is someone would like to see kind of a destroyed land, maybe a large rift, uh, maybe continental divide. So I've gone ahead and just filled this out just really quick. If you notice down in the corner, it's 207. So we've kind of prepped this map a little bit early, just with an outline. I'm just going to finish up this outline to see, show you what I'm doing here. In all honesty, I forgot to switch over to desktop mode. <laughs> if you'd like to see the... F yeah, so, my bad. Right here, in this area, we this area right here, we're going to make some giant canyons. Some maybe swamps and water levels. This area has kind of gone through a rough time. A big volcano exploded. This area up here, we have kind of this ocean area. I'm going to turn Siri off because she just thought I was talking to her. And that would have been awkward. And up here in this area is going to bring a big wasteland and we're going to make a giant mountain range. Like that. That's currently the plan for this map. Alright, let's let's kind of make some more of these canyons. What I'm gonna do, I made I'm just going through a little adding a little crazy stuff into into this. Since these are gonna be such big mounts, we're gonna have a vast amount of lakes forming over here. Some wetlands. That is not too. Maybe like the archip. I'm seeing some stuff I repeated, so we're going to get rid of some of that. Oops. Got to get rid of this part. Alright, that's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's get back in with our... We're currently using our uh, technical pen. However, we're turning the anti alias off. So when we fill this, it is going... Oops. Reset back to 10 or whatever it was. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Okay, next step in this is we are going to now pick our colors. These are our references. Just a handy little feature in Art Rage. We're using Art Rage and it's real, it renders real-time lighting effects. I find it an absolute boon. And we will just be choosing our colors here. This is my old colors palette. We're going to grab some new ones. First of all, let's get a nice ocean color. Hit our dropper. Click there. Change this color. We had to add a sample. Let's have some mounts here. Let's go ahead and add that one. Some forests. Now, recently I've had a lot of really great... Another sample down here in Zealand. With the forest, adding a, just a kind of a blue into it's really helped with some detail levels and also some other some other facets. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to our black. We're going to use our paint can. We're going to pull that up on our settings. We are going to increase the gap tolerance to 10. Our presets, we're going to tell it to grab a uh, gap protection fill. That way I don't have to go through and see if there's any little holes in this. We click that, it processes it, bang, we're done. Going back down here, just gonna hit these islands really quick. Get that little processing comes from our ability to just fill those in really quick. See that big gap right there? Oh, not a problem. Makes it fast, easy, and intuitive. All right, not too bad there. Let's go ahead and lock this transparency. What we're gonna do first of all is we are going to add a large layer. Let's go with one of my colors. This is actually the desert and oasis all combined. If you go into your samples, add samples, selects from collections. So you can add yours, Dan colors, color count, primary colors, warm colors, basics, hues. Landscapes, Autumns, Beach, City Nights. I use Beach a lot, but I also use Desert Oasis a lot. I just seem to get a nice color flow between the two of them. And these are the colors in that. I did add this red. 
Let's go ahead and we're gonna go with a little bit of a green. That's a good one, right? That's a little bright. That's probably good. We're gonna use our large tube at 500%. Again, we have locked our layer. What we're gonna do now is we are just gonna splash and just pump the largest amount of paint we can using our paint tube. And we're gonna start by following these coastal lines. Because the more we add, the bigger this gets. Now we're gonna come back here and just follow the contour of these coastal lines. A little pressure on the pen. There we go. Just double check to see if we're recording. <laughs> we are, we're good. Again, th these uh, tutorials are absolutely not edited in any way, shape, or form. So you can see all the mistakes, all the dirty laundry that I have, all the problems and how I fix them. It's gonna save you a lot of time if I show you on this versus later. Again, we lock our transparency, work, so we're just applying masses of paint in this area. We're also gonna start working on our mountains since it's a, such a big feature. We wanna put those mountains into, a, into this. First of all, we're gonna up our pressure on this. We're gonna come down and put our glitter tool size with our squares at 25%, make our glitter as big as possible. This glitter pen in Art Rage, I, I loathe and hate glitter. I uh, worked in the entertainment business for about 20 years, and we joked that glitter was the herpes of arts and craft. However, in Art Rage, it is an amazing tool for creating mountains and textures. First of all, we're gonna come back up to our image right here. We're gonna select a mount color. Let's go find a, let's find a nice, brown. I'm going to make it a little bit dark on here. I'm going to add that sample in. That works great. And we are going to start working on our mountains. And since this is the area, we're going to first just put a line of mountains right here. And I'm just kind of scraggling them on. Forming a main ridge of the mountain line and then just do bisecting it and bisecting it again with the mountains. We're going to come up here with these mountains, just like that. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow us on our next step to put even more textures on. We're not going to worry too much about exactly where these go. We're just going to put this on enough that it looks really good. Because so we're going to come in again with a different texture and add even another layer here in a second. But this first layer is the most important. We're gonna build a lot of paint up on it. By doing so, every time we add another layer of texture, everything kind of shows through. We're gonna go away there. That's a cool little mountain range there. Maybe mountain range up here. Maybe we got just some older mountain ranges, kind of like the Appalachians. Just up down here texture up here, get some craggies. This one though, we're gonna just go nuts on these islands over here. Again, this is our glitter pen. We've got it at 25% the DPI. Full pressure, full glitter size. In all our paintings that we do here at Ava Novus, this is the program we use for cartography. We also use it for a bunch of other stuff. I've been finding that on my iPad, I've been using it like crazy. I'd have to do a tutorial there once I get the streaming software set up. Also, we're looking into investing a new mic. That's one of our biggest criticisms. However, I do kind of want to keep this mic so you can actually hear what I'm doing on the tablet and when I use my mouse. But again, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, next step in this is we are going to come with our knife brush. You can get Harsh Chaos, but about 200%. And we are just going to kind of rough everything up. These big lines. Not too much though. We're going to stay the heck away from those mountains. And as you can see, 
as I come there, down near the coast, I start pushing paint up into the canvas and we get this kind of cool effect with that green. Because Art Rage does everything in real time, I like using a lot of color in my preparing the canvas. And then just kind of extending that color into everything. Again, we're going to stay away from these mountains. And we're just getting rid of all these big lines. We could have done that before. We usually do that before we put the mountains on. But this time, I wanted to experiment to see what would happen. And definitely Art Ridge lets you do that. We had one member that actually had to try this out. They got the demo. It worked really well. They loved the demo for Art Ridge from ArtRage.com. And they immediately got Art Ridge, the full studio version. Which is only about 70 bucks. The light version is, I think, about 40, but it doesn't have some of these knife tools. Also, there's some layers, but it lets you get a hold of it. All right, so we've got that, and now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our blur brush. Okay, again, knife brush. We got, let's turn off these references. Hide that down. I'm going to turn off our layers to actually, I'm going to poker. I prepared this a little bit beforehand, full disclaimer. But it only took me a few seconds. We're going to drop our layers. We'll come back, but we'll put our samples right here. Presets, we're going to come here. We're going to go to Instant Blur. Again, you can save all these settings. I just like to show you my settings. Drop this down. Come in the, at this at 250. I'd like to welcome everybody into the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. It is the audience choice on maps today, so if you want me to add something, please go ahead and let me know. I haven't noticed we believe that creativity is enhanced with more people that are actively and actively participating, so please, please, please. All right, so there we go. Kind of smoothed everything else, and as we smooth out, let's go ahead and look at these mountains we actually start getting rises and fallings and it actually looks like realistic mountains Again, this is all real time I'm not rendering anything and now we're gonna start adding some more layers and textures we're gonna go back to mr. Uh, mr. glitter pen we're gonna go with easy dirt I do have a small ground cover but let me show you the settings I'm gonna go about Let's say 200. We made the glitter size just a little bit big. I'm going to come in here and we're going to start. I'm just going to start with the mountains. And as you see, I'm just doing little movements with my pen, just circular movements. And the more glitter I add, the more it builds up, and the more layers I get. Once we got this layer done, we'll have one more. But I'm hitting these mountains first. What we're going to do next is we're going to kind of figure out where the where the erosion lights happen, where the textures and the valleys and all that happens on this map. Come down here, hit that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to grab our eraser, put it down to about, I don't know, let's see. That's not bad, about 16%. Again, instant erase, 16%. And since our layer is locked currently, we are actually, as we dig out these areas, as you can see right there, we're just making erosion lines. Now these are not rivers, don't mistake these for rivers. This is just where the ground's eroded away. Very important to realize that. As we're done with this, we'll come even with a more glitter, more mass that we're going to put on the painting. And then we're going to come back, add another layer, and retexture everything. Hope everybody's doing great today. We've had wonderful success and 
kind of spreading the word of what we're doing here. We also want to thank Boogie2988. He tweeted, he retweeted a tweet we did for him. And our Twitter feed exploded. exploded. And again, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash avantnovus. We'd really encourage people to go to our website. We've got wonderful, huge announcements there. We're actually going to be coming out with a huge map pack and also individual maps in the next few days. As of yesterday, we are officially a business. We'd like to thank our production manager, oh, our production director and manager, Andrew. We'd also like to thank our other manager, Adi, for helping us set that up. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to Amber. She's been doing some editing work and making sure that things are a little bit sane. Bill had us to take care of this. Also, our wives. Andrew's wife's wife, a piece. Gotta probably be careful with that. <laughs> Awkward. But also, really like to thank the Art Rage guys, the marketing department. They're helping promote our Facebook page and everything we're doing on it. So big shout out to them. Thank you so much. Also, to kind of understand what I'm doing here, go check us out on YouTube. I don't know this. It's where we keep all these tutorials. They're free to watch. Again, we want to be 100% crystal clear on how we're doing this. Right now, I am carving out the huge canyons. These are going to be our most important feature that we just want to nail today. We're going to make these really kind of cool and kind of crazy. We're going to cut right into the mountains. We're going to have this Grand Canyon thing. We have a divide. Again, if your screen's a little blurry, Facebook pairs everything down to 720p. Our videos on YouTube are 1080p. So if you really want a high definition image of that, that's the place you want to be going. And really big scraggling lines over here. Bisecting to the mountains. Maybe one or two towards the sea. Right now it's 225. The video started at 207, but we spent a good seven minutes getting this map prepped, the lines, outlines, and plannings. You can go to Facebook to see all that. I forgot to show my image on my screen. Again, getting used to all this YouTube, uh, all this uh, streaming services from Facebook and YouTube. All right, up here, it's gonna just kind of be the fallout from the mountains. Not much moisture coming through this. So we're working on a gigantic Continental Divide. Put some more stuff in here. Actually, that was a mistake. We're gonna come down here like this. Maybe come down here. Okay, we got our biggest canyons right here. And again, we're just cutting into the map. As such. Again, this is just texturing. This, these are not where rivers are going to go because we're going to be placing a large texture onto this. All right, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and go back, and now we're going to hit our textures really, really hard. We're going to come back with that green that we're using. I saved right there. And let's go with a different green. It's that one, yes. Okay. Going back to our our glitter brush, and we're going to start on the mountains once again. 
Actually, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna start on the mountains. And we are just gonna very lightly, oh, you know what, since I'm doing this right now, let me show you a little trick. Add a little darker. I'm gonna actually add metallic. And I'm not going too crazy. I'm just adding some more texture. You see that metallic in the paint, it's really causing things. Got a little bit of a hiccup here. Things aren't showing as I go over this area on the map. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna blur some stuff down. Blur's gonna make it so things pop a little bit better, lower the pressure. Again, as we run the blur over, you can see that we actually have some really cool mounts for them. These are gonna be the roots of our mountains. Our very highest peaks when we cover them again. This is just the, this is just the technique: spread, texture, blur, spread, texture, blur. Cut away when you need to. There we go. There we go. Look at all that. See? Not too shabby. Okay, let's go back to our brush here. We're gonna go find that brown we like so much. Any of these mountains again? Yeah, let's, let's kind of change this up. We're going to do the mountains a little bit differently. Again, I'm just experimenting here. This is, you know, kind of changing things up, see what happens, get a better idea of how things should look. I'm going to come back on these mountains and we're going to start. Place the actual big peaks of the mountains there. So we kind of know where they all go. Kind of want to simulate, and I'm just following the topography that we've already done. Then we're going to add a lot more texture here. This kind of looks like clay flatland. And that's no bueno. Also, to our We've, set, we've made some really friend, good friends on the Art Rage Facebook page. Buen venido, amigos, señora, señorita, gracias. Pues, uh, hablo español, así es, sí, muy poquito. Amigos, gracias. Thank you so much for being here watching this, taking your time, giving me a few hours in your day. I'm just plugging along here doing these maps. I think Monday we are going to have an Arctic map. I will be honest, I struggle with Arctic maps. But I'm going to go and figure how to do that. Develop a technique over the weekend. And share that with you guys. So if you have any suggestion tips or tricks that you're finding on your own art rage, let us know. I know we have had a lot of people buying art rage. And we're not being paid in any way, shape, or form by art rage. They are promoting some of our posts. They've definitely helped us grow, and we really, really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Mountains. Coming down here and hitting these mountains. Zooming out. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. Coming down here. Nice big peak right there. We don't have to do much with that guy. This is going to be a really mountainous map. That's okay. We like that. Nice change of pace. These younger mountains, we're not going to do too much to. We're just going to put a little bit of this kind of thing through them. Right now we're at 2.30. We're about half done. And my own personal maps, if I'm not able to complete these, I'll call that a failure. 
We tried to take on Token the other day. We ended up spending almost two hours on that map. We obviously failed. But because it's Token, I absolutely refuse to give up on it. We waste a lot of time on hills, other things like that. There will be a rematch, though. I'm, looking I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, let's go ahead and add our next texture. We're going to go down to Easy Dirt, increase it to 100, zip up the glitter size like that, and we are going to actually take a sample of this ground form. We're going to add that to our samples. We're at a 24% addition of metallic. We are just going to come over here. We're just going to first hit these, very lightly hit these erosion points. It down here. And over here. Just see how it's flowing, see how it's picking up those details. Even if we hit some of these mountains, that's okay too. Because we are gonna build a layer and then we're gonna color this next. And we could probably bump this up to about 250. There we go. If you notice the real-time lighting in this, it is just allowing us to do whatever the heck we want and see it at the same time. No word alpha channels, no masking, no creating of noise. It's just right here. Intuitive, quick. I love me smart rage. Music's okay. I think the volume's just splendid. Or I've ripped your ears out of your head, and I do apologize for that. See, so, just going along. Don't need to be too careful because we spent a lot of time on that underlayer. That is really helping us turn out where everything should be. There we go. Up here, down here, all the way over here. Just kind of following the rivers. Having just a grand old time. Again, some of the things I do, it might seem like it's kind of redundant. However, as you can see right here, there's definitely a purpose to it. And a rhyme and reason. Now that we've got kind of this cool texture all over the place, let's hit these islands. Let's come down here. Alright. I'm going to just add just a touch more of our Square down here. There's a couple of. Grab our color we liked. Just gonna touch up some stuff over here. There we go. Get in. Alright. So we got our basic landform down. Let's go ahead and grab our blur pen. Like I said before, we are now officially a business. We've got our trades marks turns in, turned in. And we are going to be selling some gigantic maps. Drive through RPG, Nook, Kindle, iTunes, all those places. Now I'm passing the blur. It actually smooths out some stuff and really catches the highlights. You can see right there. Well, it still looks a little rough, not refined. The reason for that is we're going to do our rivers next. Okay. 
then we're going to come back and we're going to use one of our brushes, one of our um, knife tools, and really define and cut out the canyons. We're going to go back to our instant erase. We're going to come um, up to our layer. We're going to unlock the layer so we can make some rivers and stuff like that. First of all, we're going to pay attention specifically to this canyon. We are going to make a nice, really cool meandering river all through this canyon. canyon. tributaries forming on it. Right now it's 237. Roughly 22 minutes to get this done. Get our swamp area right there. We're going to keep, over in this area though, we're going to keep our rivers primarily on this side of the farm, on this side of the map. And usually with rivers I pull from the waterbed forward. I was going to put a delta here, but it's just not making sense. Well, maybe it does. Let's go ahead and cut this delta up a little bit. And on these coastal lines, we're just going to follow these. There we go. There we go. Maybe we got a big river here. This sucker's gonna snake around all this area, and we're just gonna follow the contours that we laid out in our rage. There we go. We're doing pretty good there. Let's go back to this coastline. We want to hit this really fast and hard. Kind of a cool little canyon thing there going on. Big fiery volcano of doom. Mount Doom. Also, check out YouTube.com. We're going to put up information on our really big maps. At this end of the video, I will kind of show a couple of them. My voice is kind of gravelly today. I've got allergies beyond can, the worst allergies I've ever had in my life. Hopefully I won't lose my voice during this stream. Again, we're working on the divides. Have a look at that. Yeah, we're doing good there. Lands here that I'm really digging. This is where all the rain's going to be come from. We got 20 minutes to get this map done. <gasps> Trauma. We got this. Yeah, that's cool. That's working. Again, working with a little bit of a different technique. 
than we have before. All right, not bad, guys. Now we're going to go back to Mr. Blur Brush. Blur Brush. Again, drop this down really low at 50. And we're going to very gently trace over. Oh, let's go a little bit harder. Oh, that was a goofball. Oops. I hit Control X instead of Control Z. That is going to delete this layer. Uh, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. That's okay. RH can handle that very easily. Just Control Z. It also has an amazing amount of, as you step backwards, you just keep going with heart rate. You can hold it down, and it's very easy to take care of but as we're waiting for that I think I cleared the level little layer I sure did control Z basically our age had it completely smush all those see how fast that is once it's done boom done you know we should put a river up here now that I'm just looking at this this is gonna be a really crazy one kind of Nile my personal favorite river the Danube because it's fun to say so it's a very intriguing river that is all the rivers we're gonna do there okay coming back we're now gonna lock our layer we're going to go to our blur brush we've already made. We're going to come in here and we're going to spread this out. Let's go a little bit harder on the pressure there. Maybe a little bigger. We're going to come over and we're just going to run our brush across these rivers we've already made. And if you can see, It pushes the paint to the side, so when we go in and texture to these next, we're going to get some really cool textures. The next part of this is we are going to use our textures. We kind of have some colors. We'll probably recolor a good deal of the map. But let's just get those colors are giving us an idea of where we're going to be dropping mass and paint and stuff. Again, I'm just barely hitting these rivers and such. I just had a comment from Twitter. The music we're listening to is from the Royalty Free for commercial use from YouTube. Go check that out. Also, I know a large number of you who have bought Outrage and kind of following these my little techniques here. Please share those with us. Share what you're doing. Uh, we got someone on that is going to Instagram the heck out of us. He's really excited to do this, and I'm really excited he is. He's been watching our tutorial videos on YouTube. Apparently he's getting some good results. I can't wait to see those. And we are just putting a little bit more strata onto these. Before we texture, we're going to just do one more thing. We're going to scoop away some of the, yeah, that's looking good. That is just looking good. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to our eraser. 5%. Let's actually increase it to about there. And we're going to add, that's eh, a little big, 8%. We're just going to add these little squiggles everywhere. This is going to kind of give us a image of where the erosion is. Again, these are not the rivers. This is just showing us where the land splits, where there's heavier material that hasn't washed away. In a few moments here, we're going to use this to create our landforms, our hills, our valleys. Because we're recording and we're making such a big map. Well, it's not really that big. Let me show you a big map really quick. This is, this is the map we currently did on Art Rage, okay? And we're just getting ready to publish. This sucker's huge. 36 inches by 24 inches, 420 DPI. And if we zoom in, 
we really zoom on on this one. You can see every single little hill, mountain, vale, tree, forest, clump of grass. And this is the same process we follow. This is the image of Venus, kind of maybe uh, use it for a steampunk or maybe use it for another thing or just use it for your own fantasy world. All right, let's get back to the painting. We don't have much time. Okay, we're back. We're in Dexter's. We're going to go a little bit faster here. We only got 10 minutes to get this done. Maybe 12 minutes to get this done. It's my calming music at this point in the show. Reminds me to be calm. I set up here on purpose. Because this is usually start where I freak out. A little drama is good. A little adrenaline going. Again, this allows you to make your own maps, make your own fantasy maps. We're teaching you how to use your, the, the same t techniques we do. Grab a, cup, a copy of Art Rage and just go nuts. You'll soon find you are painting oils. Check out rh.com. So check out the Facebook group. That Facebook group is amazing. There's one guy that is painting maps a day, and they're really cool. He adds kind of a movement to the pixelization. Huge shout out to him. There we go. And the deserts are going to be a little bit craggly on this side. Maybe I have some original lines up here. I found out today I need new pen tips. <laughs> I've been thrashing these lately. That's okay. That is what they're here for. I've been working on this little Wacom tablet for years. Okay, let's get into the magic of this. We're going to go into our knife brush. We're going to go into harsh chaos. We're going to bump this up to about 250. We're going to take our mouse. We're going to come in. Well, let's drop this down to 200. And we're going to take our mouse because we get an even. Okay, 150. Yeah, there we go. We're going to take our mouse and we're just going to click. You can hear the mouse on the keyboard. And if you notice, we go right in. It is carving out canyons. Carving out the places. Creating a realistic texture on all this. And this is why we use this brush. And this is why we spend all the time on our previous layers. The most important part, since we've spent so much diligence and time, it lets us just zip through this process. Again, I'm just I'm just gently with my mouse, with my mouse even. Letting our rage take care of the details. Letting that knife just scoop out stuff. We're just opening up these rivers. We go in and we see hills and tributaries and everything else starting to form on that. Quick, easy, very happy. Now these, these other rivers out here, I'm actually just holding down and just quickly tracing them out. Let's get this done, ladies and gentlemen. And we are just doing fine. And as you can see, that metallic paint we had in these colors we laid down is really popping. We're going to now bump this up to. Oops, go back to our brush, 250. We're going to hit our coastlines. I'm just running this across our coastlines. See the detail on those? Just bang. 
Next set, we're going to do our mountains. Paint, then do forest. There we go. Okay, let's do our mounds. We're going to come right next to our mounds with this huge brush. Kind of, kind of nibble up next to them. Use our mouse. On the, this side of the mounds, we're going to be really rough. We're just going to use our mouse. Other side, we will be using our stylus. Got these really cool mountain areas. Again, working on the rough parts. See that? I can go in and actually make cut these. Make a plateau there. Right, let's get some more plateaus. Those are cool. Also following these little things we'll put in for texture. Breaking up what we've already done. Just like that. See that? Okay, back to our stylus. Because we want oops. We want complete control over this next part. Here it's a lot smoother. We want to kind of really cut those mountains out. Got hills right there. Again, all that paint, all that preparation, the 45 minutes of preparation was just for this. See how that forms? These little lines are going to go up. It's going to be really smooth. And we got this cool little texture, maybe some canyons. Maybe cars topography. That stuff's cool. Check it out on, online. Okay, down here we're gonna go. We're gonna drop the pressure down. We're gonna make. Eh, let's drop this down to 100. I'm just gonna kind of press a little bit hard on these. As you can see we've got rolling hills. We got tributaries starting to form. Gonna mix this up gonna, again, experimenting. We're gonna do the forest next. So look, oh, didn't miss anything. Actually, let's color this. Change of plants. We're gonna color this right now. Kind of come in with the brown, go in with my airbrush, opacity there, 250. Take our stylus. Little circular movements up here. Okay, add just a little more paint to this so it really brings out that color, the real time rendering. Gonna start with kind of a tan on these. Get rid of these this green crap on the mountains. Oh, go back to switch over to our knife really quick. Our rage remembers exactly what we're doing. Go back to this. Five minutes, folks. <gasps> Serious continental divide here. We're going to spend some time on these. Let's go back to our mountains. Let's, hit those. let's go ahead. Actually, let's come down here. On the top of these plateaus, we're going to bring the green in. Get in all that. Get in all that. Again, I'm just running my stylus over everything. Let's go ahead and add some yellow into some of the tops here. Kind of got a really marshy feel of this. I, I kind of don't like that. Let's go back to our orange. Drop our opacity. There we go. I like that a lot better. Showing us height. Got four minutes to get this done. Ah! We're also going to take our orange and start working on staying away from the river area there. A little more iron in the sand. And we're going to finish up our mountains. We're going to come down with this brown. Zoom in. There's a couple things here I don't like. I don't like this right here. So we're going to quickly edit that. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
bounds we're going to come up to about 50%, dip this down to 100%. We're just going to run this brush over our mountains. Three minutes. Yes, we started a little bit late, but that doesn't matter. Again, we're just going to lightly blend. Lightly blend these mountains out. There's some stuff here. There we go. Make sure we hit all the mounds everywhere consistently. Maybe this highest part has a little bit of brown in these. There we go. There we go. Just part right there. Fix that. Yep. Okay, we're going to go with the white now. We're going to up the metallic like crazy. We're going to zoom down here. We're going to come down into about 50. And we're just going to just hit these peaks with the snow. Get really lightly. Any kind of stagger a little. See that? That's where all the rain shadow drops off. Got two minutes to get this done. So I am now flying through this. Should make a timer. I go by my little clock down there. Someone did point it out that I'm not giving me a full hour. That's fine. Zoom out. Hey, see? Down here. Again, we're lightly touching, letting the rendering do it itself. Okay. Actually, there's a color thing I want to hit first. And maybe with the dark green coming in here. The what I'm looking at is this these areas here looks too contrived, so we're just gonna come in with this dark green. And drop that down for quite a bit. Not too much, too much, too much, too much. We're just going to blend all this area a little bit better. We have a minute to get this done. We got one minute. Well, actually, two minutes. There we go. That looks better. Okay. I'm happy with that. I hope you guys are happy with that. Let's make some forests go into our, our stamp. Grab the lovely, lovely, lovely Mossy 2. We're going to go about 250. This a really garish color. We're just gonna put our all our force right here. All our force down here. Maybe something like that. I know you're freaking out right now. To clean this up. We go to our. I totally screwed that up. Sure did. We go to another layer. Boom, 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 boom. Just get some force in there really quick. Just like that. Don't even have to spend any time on this. We're going, to, we're going to go to the layer previous, our selection tool. In that, hide the layer we just did. Select everything. Got one minute left, folks. Get rid of all that. We're going to lock our layer. What we did, we killed anything that is randomly there. We're going to 250. Uh, let's get 250 here. Grab a nice, one of those nice greens from New Zealand. And grab the mouse and just go nuts. We have our forest just magically popping up. I'm looking at the time. And ladies and gentlemen. Whew, fantasy map in an hour. That one's not too bad. I like that one. I like that one. We're done. We're completed. I'm just going to enhance a couple things. Make it really pop. I'm just going to come down here with my brush. Make all our rivers, give it some coastline. But we were successful. We got this done in an hour. This one's actually kind of involved. 
This one is actually kind of involved. High detail. Let's go ahead and zoom in. You can see we have every little valley tree, shrubbery. Very highly detailed. Just finishing up here. These are just some touch ups. Touch that up. We go back to yield, harsh chaos, 250. This next Wednesday, uh, again, 1 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday, we are going to be doing a gaming map, a map from games. We're getting a seriously ton of requests from that. And we want to accommodate. That would be fun. You get those old-time games. And, yeah, see, not too bad. Not too bad. We can add anything we want in there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming by. Thank you for uh, watching. When you're using your artwork, please let post your pictures on our page. Come to Facebook or group. Of a novice group show us what you're doing let us let us have a look and see what you're doing also again rh.com pick up art rage have fun with that uh we'd also especially like to thank art rage for what do i have here yeah there we go for promoting the stream we really appreciate it um and also again huge announcement coming out we are going to be making, we are going to be selling this, this map and four others, four different styles, an atlas, so you can easily print everything out. And that wasn't too bad. We got this marshland. I like that. It's kind of marshland in this desert. And again, thanks for coming by. I hope you guys have a great day. Comment, subscribe, like, do all the social things. It really helps us out. And... Have a wonderful day. We're going to stop this. God bless.